the top <laughs> top of the parking garage. It's a fun place to be. This is the scenic point that in is, Burbank. Wow, you're really going for it with that bag. Yeah, just really unceremoniously. All right, so grab your five egg burgers. So what we gotta remember about these is we've gotten every single Huge. topping on it. Bacon, green peppers, grilled onions, raw onions, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, mustard, steaks, literally all of it, and we have done that. Yep. This is a wet burger. Dang, it's so big. Mmm. Five Guys, mm. make, they make a nice cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. Um, I like how doughy the bread is. It's a nice spongy sesame seed bun. The burgers are griddle cooked super, super hard. It's really good, but mm. well, how are we gonna make it fancy though? So they got like thin cut bacon. I'm thinking we do some thick cut pork belly. We braise it, we fry it. We got some cool flavors in there. We'll figure that out later. But all the condiments, there's cool stuff to play with that we haven't seen on burgers before. <laughs> Give me that. What are you doing, silly? Like mushrooms, right? Like mushrooms, we can do fancy wild mushrooms. We can do like maybe a French preparation with some red wine. I don't know, maybe some sort of like caramelized onion situation. We can do like a, a jam or a marmalade. Okay. And green peppers. I mean, these are things we've never worked with before, which is why I'm really excited to fancy by this. Can we make it really, really big? We're gonna make it comically big again. It's not gonna fit in our mouths, but we're gonna try. That's just yeah. gonna happen. Emily, we gotta start making the burger patties for this year Fancy Five Guys burger patties. So we have American Wagyu beef right here. We have an American Wagyu ribeye, American Wagyu New York strip, American American Wagyu tenderloin. We're gonna take all three steaks and we're gonna sort of grind and mash them together okay. then put them into a burger patty. What is Wagyu beef? Okay. People say it and I just go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so Wagyu literally just means Japanese cow. So gyu is the Japanese word for cow. And then wa is a, uh, what's that word? A prep, prep, pre prefix. Prefix? Prefix? I'm a writer and I don't subscribe to any of that. But it basically means that it comes from the lineage of the famous Kobe beef that they like feed the cow's beer to relax them. I want to be that cow. Can you turn on the meat grinder? You want me to do it. Yeah, find a button. So it's literally just got on, off, and rev. What is rev? Yeah, we'll see what it does. I'm scared. I don't know, I don't use the equipment. Emily, just uh, keep your digits clear. But I have to Unless touch Unless you it. really like see something shiny, then you're gonna want to reach the fingers down in that hole. Get out of there. So I'm gonna sort of like try and stagger these here. Uh, I'm gonna need you to plunge the hole eventually. Are you a good hole plunger? <laughs> oh no boy. I, they all knew we were gonna say something. We're getting like that. there. We were getting there, <laughs> one way or another. All right, so turn this on and start plunging the hole. Okay. You plunge the hole, I'll catch the meat. It's not necessary, I just wanna do it. Yeah, really jam it down there. I'm jamming! Is the rev not Wait, the on, thing? Wait, Wait, turn off the. Beef count. Well, I was oh, pushing I, rev because I thought that meant I would have control oh, over the button. Oh, no, I think rev maybe just makes it like, like, re like it's an idol. Like it's, well, that's reverse, it stands for reverse. <laughs> that's what you do, that's, no, 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 the reverse function is when Did you I have- break it? The reverse function is when you have ground beef, you run it back up and it turns into a steak again. Listen, I let the record show. I said, what is rev? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> Why would there be a function just to rev the engine? There we go. Yeah, push it harder. Wait, right, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. So if you see this kind of a log jam meat right there, it's because our steaks weren't cold enough. All right, so we just need to get the steaks cold. So we're just gonna pop them in the freezer, uh, wait a little bit, and then hopefully it'll work. All right. I am hopeful. I wish I was helpful ever. All right, so uh, uh, the beef is now frozen, so it should be able to go through this grinder. I'm gonna mash this in here. Put this on. There we go, there we go. Get all this beef ground up, that's fantastic. Well, look at this. We successfully did a simple cooking task. Yeah, we is a fun word to use. All right, so we got all the beef now, so now we're gonna form some patties. So what we're gonna do, here, grab that bottle of vegetable oil, so we, we gotta lube up. Is that what this this bottle is? Yes. It doesn't say vegetable oil, so. Lube me up. I always like to lube up when I'm making, uh, lube, 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 just lube yourself Should up. Should I too. lube up? Yeah, lube up, lube up. I always like to lube up before grinding burgers, so I'm gonna take this and just kinda like form it in my hands. Don't wanna smash it too much. So why are you using vegetable oil instead of olive oil? Yeah, so that's like, Good cooking question. We can See, give I them, have value. Can give them cooking tips. Anytime you use olive oil, olive oil has a really low smoke point, which means it doesn't like high heat. Uh, that means olive oil on the outside, even if it's a small amount, can burn. That said, olive oil also just has a really strong flavor that you may not want with beef, right? The more okay. olive oil on your beef, the less it's going to taste like beef. Okay. Although an old roommate of mine swore by coconut oil. Ew! Don't know what to tell you, it's not toxic. I don't like that. Well, I don't think that that would, I don't want a I didn't sweetness. Like this, I didn't like the sounds coming from his room. These are looking pretty good. We got some big old thick boy burger patties. Uh, we're gonna let these rest. We're gonna get on working on the other condiments for this here burger. And then we get to cook these. This is gonna be this is dummy I thick. I can't wait for this. This is dummy thick. Woo! Slap the burger. It feels good. We've made bacon once. We've made it a thousand times on the show. Yeah. 
Sure. You know, <laughs> this, I assume. <laughs> uh, there's bacon on this Five Guys burger. I thought we could jazz it up a little bit. So what okay. I want to do is I want to make something kind of like bacon, but in the style of Filipino pork belly adobo, which to me is one of the most flavorful, beautiful dishes in the world. I make it all the time at home. Are you ready for that? Sure. First, you need to start palm heel striking all those garlics just to crush it to release all okay. that allicin in there. I want to take, so that's gonna be, I'm gonna take off my scrunchie because I don't want my scrunchie to get garlicky, so. Stack the elbow over the wrist and it's just gonna be a downward motion. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna lose about 80% of these garlics, but that's totally fine. I don't I don't know if my palm is that impressive. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah! Ice! No mercy! All right, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the peppercorns to the pan. There, wait, if I'm one falls good. off, I'm gonna kick it up and snag it. Snag it? Yeah, I'm gonna kick it, watch. Ow! Ah, oh, that one's a hard one. You're not, you gotta stack the elbow and go down. Oh, go like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. All right, so we're just toasting up these peppercorns. Ow. They're informed to get nice and fragrant. These are thick boys. <laughs> There it is. Ow, ow! I don't Drive like the hips it. down, Emily. No weakness! This one came on. Add a little bit of water to that pot right there. This one went on the floor. We can't. Let me start adding all. What? The floor is. This is worse than a movie theater floor. By the way, I've well, been on no movie theater kidding. floors and I've been on this floor. What do you and, think? Uh, oh, that no one fun. just. That one did it just really nice. I'm adding some bay leaves to the pot. So right now we just got water, we got peppercorns, we got bay leaves. I'm gonna add some onions. Some people might saute ah, this before. No, I lost all yeah, of good. the garlic. No, just scoop it up and throw it in the pot. You know. Sometimes 80% of your garlic's on the this floor. This really reminds me of like the time I really wanted to be a Power Ranger, so I got my parents to give me taekwondo, like to pay for taekwondo classes. And then I left after the first uh, class because yeah. I was really uncomfortable calling a grown man I don't know master. Yeah, that there's some, some we, I've I seen 50 you. shades. It gets, you know, it's not for some. So this is a big old thing of skin on pork belly right here. You see, I mean, this is bacon right here, right? Like this is the part that bacon comes from. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna braise this down in all these aromatics Ooh. and then we're gonna chill it. We're gonna slice it thin like bacon, deep fry it so it's crispy and then hit it with a reduced glaze. So what we got going on here, our main flavors in adobo are vinegar and soy sauce. Some people do a one to one ratio. Some people go like as deep as two to one on vinegar to soy. I typically like to stay to like a 1.25 to one vinegar to soy. So we're just gonna measure Ooh, it. Math, everyone loves that. I all need right, so to wash my that. hands because they're stinky. No, you're fine. You know what you need to do? Drinking has been, you know, a fraught relationship with the old YouTube algorithm, so I think I found a solution. Uh -huh. If we can't drink alcohol, we can at least drink other things that have been aged in alcohol barrels. So this, this is whiskey barrel aged shoyu soy sauce. Just give that a nice little sip. Are we gonna shoot it? I heard Ben say shoot it. Shoot it. Uh, all right, cool. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, it's so good though. This is really freaking good soy sauce. Really good. Big, round, tons of umami, nice mouthfeel. I wish there was a cocktail that had soy sauce in it. Is there one? No, but we can make one. Just not in front of the kids on the YouTube. Right, at adult time. At adult, I don't like calling adults master and I don't like saying the words adult time at work. No. <laughs> What are we saying? We're gonna pop a lid on this. That's also just a big old pizza pan. And we're gonna let that boil for about three and a half hours. Well, actually, we're gonna drop it down to a simmer. Uh, okay. And then we're gonna chill it, we're gonna slice it, we're gonna fry it, we're gonna glaze it. And we're gonna finish that bottle of soy sauce. We're not finishing we're a bottle. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get kidney stones by the end of this. Ew. Oh, I thought you liked the party. I don't, well. We have our pork belly. This has been braising for about three and a half hours. We got it in the fridge. It's chilled for two hours now. And so what we're gonna do is Ooh. we're just gonna cut out little <gasps> thick boy slices of this. Uh. Yeah. And then we're gonna dredge this in rice flour. Dredge tastes like fudge. <laughs> oh yeah, can you tell the people a little bit about your fascination with what words taste like? Thanks to the great world, wide world of TikTok, I found out that I have a weird form of synesthesia where some words have flavors to me. What does my name taste like? I hate when people ask me that name stuff. <laughs> That's not really like how it works. And if it's- Oh, sorry for misunderstanding. Then, well, no, I think, and I've, jo I told you what it tasted like and now I can't, oh, Pepsi. Yeah, yeah, my name tastes like tastes discount like cola. Josh, we have to say it like, and pronounce it a certain way because you go shh. Does it just it taste tastes like, like carbonation. Oh, I thought it just tastes like Pepsi because I look like, uh, like my, like Josh is the name of a waiter who would go, is Pepsi okay? <laughs> You go, no, Josh, <laughs> Pepsi's never okay. Well, sometimes it's the word that sounds like another word, and then that's what evokes the flavor, like dredge and fudge has that j at the All end right, of so it. so we got this pork belly cut. Not that we're doing a thing here, not to I disrupt. Mean, I'll sure. talk about it later, but. So we dredged some of the pork belly. I cut this one in half, because I, I want us to just try this. We're gonna drop that in a hot fryer. We're gonna start frying up the other pieces. I wanted some snackies for us. We got a long road. I wanna do it. Us. Do it, yeah, yeah, dredge it. So this burger, uh, five guys, I figured the fanciest thing we could do is everything in excess. 
right? That's right, fancy Is that what they're kind of known for? Yes. They literally call their double cheeseburger a normal cheeseburger, and then if you just want one patty, they call it like a junior cheeseburger. They're like shaming people, like, oh, you want the little kid size with just one beef disc? <laughs> you, you tiny little small weak man. So we're making this double cheeseburger and then they have you like add on your own toppings manually. So I figured we're just gonna do all the toppings. So we're, we're getting the bacon, the cheese, the green peppers, the onions, the pickles, the jalapenos, the mustard, the barbecue sauce, the A1, the ketchup, the mayonnaise. We're doing it all. Do you think that they're like, it's all about excess because there's too many guys? Yeah, five guys like, is too many. We could have been just one guy, but this we're five. This is looking pretty awesome. Whoa. This is looking super nice and crispy right here. I just kind of want to want to hack this up. You want to eat it? It's probably incredibly hot. Uh, okay. Owie! Oh, oh, golden nugget of deliciousness. Ooh, it's really peppery. We didn't add any additional pepper to it. It's literally just the flavors from the braising liquid that have infused in this pork. It's really good. And then we're also gonna get all that flavor back on top of it. All right, so check it out. So we got all this crispy fried pork belly out of the fryer. I mean, this is just silly at this point. And now we're gonna take it and we're just gonna add all of these to the glaze and we're gonna reduce that. We put just a little bit of sugar into that adobo at the beginning and normally I wouldn't even do that with adobo, uh, but I really love getting a little bit of sweetness on that glaze. So we're just gonna let it kind of like chill in there, let the glaze cook into it a little bit, sort of camera. Does it smell like a Panda Express to you? I just heard that I'm never gonna dance again song and that's, I'm I didn't hear anything. You just said, turn. don't sing it, don't sing it. We can't do that. I'm gonna take these out, get them resting on this baking rack. <gasps> Look at that. The color that. is pretty too. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. I mean, all that super dark that barrel is aged a soy. Big boy, boy. Yeah, but the good news is it's just it's going on a whole hamburger <gasps> with multiple patties. And Man, also that kind of looks condiment. like Nicole. Doesn't it look like brisket? Why do you seek her validation over mine? Well, because she talks about brisket sometimes, I'm and I about seek brisket. her approval. You know. <laughs> I see Nicole's approval too. Do, Nicole, do. tell us we're doing I'm good. Like, I want Nicole to like me so much. This is for snacking. We need to keep our energy high. Yes, yes, we yes, got yes, a lot yes, more yes, to yes, do. Yes, 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 we need it. So five guys, they got, they got all five guys back there and they're grilling up mushrooms. That's what we're doing Are right now. Are you making me saying. do this again? Last time you seemed to worry about how much garlic you're losing. What I want you to worry about is hand speed. I'm not worried about how much garlic I'm using. I just have, I have arthritis all of the sudden. What, if an attacker comes in a parking garage, they gonna worry about your arthritis? No, you need a hand speed. You need a hand speed on the palm heel strike. We're no, teaching women self-defense and also proper French mushroom cooking. I want one of those extendable sticks. <laughs> These are baby king trumpet mushrooms. They're like oh, little, little prince trumpet mushrooms. They're very, so very, very cute. cool. King trumpets, I love them because they have a super meaty texture. Okay, and so, can I try one raw? I guess it's gonna be like probably kind of weird. I don't always eat that. It has boobs, look. Like, ah. <laughs> It's like styrofoam. Ah, whatever. So I'm gonna deglaze these mushrooms with all that wine. I'm gonna get them searing right now in a scream in a hot pan. Also, so this is celery. This is Celtic sea salt. This is gray sea salt. Truly fantastic. Here, eat some salt. There it is. You know I got a perfect little rock. I'm gonna take all these shallots, dump that in there right now. I wanna get a fair amount of color on this. I wanna get some nice char on those mushrooms. That's really gonna go well with all that beefy flavor from the stock. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna deglaze it with this incredible wine right here. Typically you use the Bordeaux wine, but we're using this Italian La Serra Nuove dell'Orne... La Serra... La Serra Nuove dell'Ornellalia. 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 That spirit has possessed you. Um, this is how I feel right now. Anyway, this is a blend of uh, Cabernet, of Cab Franc, of Merlot. Got a ton of tannic structure to it, which is what I really want for this. Give it a lot of complexity. Then go with that beef stock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The babies are uh -oh. out of the basket. Babies are out of the basket? Listen, what? man, I just something came out of my mouth. I didn't plan for it. Babies are in a basket? <laughs> All right. That's where you put babies, right? Uh, yeah, that's where I put mine. And then you put them in the river. When I put what? That's well, like, like in a safe Moses. basket, like a floating basket, like a re a, a one made of reeds. Don't put your babies in the don't river. Don't put babies in the river. So I'm gonna deglaze this with wine. Well, I don't know what people do with babies. Yeah, there we go. So we want a really high heat. Just to deglaze as fast as possible. Emily, strip this time. Okay. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, the, ow! What? The steam. It's fine. You don't feel pain and it's so weird. All right, so we're gonna add some beef stock to that too. I know then, that if he got menstrual cramps though, he couldn't hack it. Oh God, no. Cheese and rice, that seems like a nightmare. I'm so sorry oh. that you have to do that. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so this is very cool. This is very fancy butter. This is uh, uh, burro al centrifuge. So this is Italian butter that is actually made in a centrifuge. So you're gonna get an even bigger sort of like moisture centrifuge? loss on it. Uh, are you familiar with the, what they call the God particle or particle accelerators? Have you oh ever God, read how it? many Dan things Brown are you gonna book? have to explain to me? <laughs> It's literally, it's a big old machine that like spins stuff real fast. So it essentially like spins ah. the water out and that's, you know, butter's typically made slow churning. This is incredibly fast churn butter. I want this to reduce a little bit more till the liquid is like almost, almost gone. All right, so this needs to reduce. Wait a minute, what are you doing with that baby? Don't put it in the river. Emily, come help me find this baby. We gotta save it. <laughs> oh God, that's good. Baby, you're gonna be okay. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna 
get a whole lot of butter in this because I want all that butter to soak up into them shrooms. And then go ahead, Emily, give that a toss. Give that a toss, just let the butter melt. What does that mean? Well, I want you to do something. <laughs> just like, here we go. Kind of, Tell me I don't do just anything. Like move it again. around. No, like move the whole, like, like, like sweeping move motion, it. like a sweeping motion. It looks like it's getting all creamy yeah, now. Yeah, there we go. That's the idea is we want all that wine in the stock to reduce to essentially concentrate all the flavors and the butter is just gonna add a ton of that creaminess, gonna soak into the mushrooms. And then we're just gonna kind of put that on a burger almost as like Ooh. a half condiment sauce, half, you know, vegetable component. You wanna try it? Sure. Yeah, try that shroom. Thanks. All right, mushrooms are done. One of our vegetable components is done. We got two more, two more hyper stylized, That's like Ryan Adams bacon. vegetables. What? That's even better than the bacon. Yeah, this is gonna be a flavorful freaking hamburger. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so they have grilled green peppers. You can get them grilled, you can get them raw. They also have grilled onions. So I figured we'd jazz it up a little bit. Okay. So instead of making grilled onions, we're gonna make a nice balsamic onion jam. We got this legit balsamico de Modena. Ooh. Any balsamic that doesn't come from Modena is not balsamic at all, yelled my Italian roommates at me when I got them Trader Joe's balsamic. That's uh, <laughs> just a real story. Uh, anyway, so making a balsamic onion jam, I'll get that going. What I need you to do, we're gonna make some sort of Provencal style marinade bell peppers, typically would be red bell peppers, but we're gonna use green bell peppers because that's what Five Guys uses. We're gonna hit it with some Arab de Provence, but first, horch the crap out of these bell peppers. So take our double fire-breathing dragon blowtorch right there. Is it these buttons? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm gonna get just a bunch of butter into this pot. Yeah, light them up. We got butter in the pot, and now I'm gonna add all these here onions. I feel like Tank Girl. Think, yeah, Lori Petty, oh my God, great movie. Lori Petty rules, everybody. Ice-T is don't a know. sexy kangaroo. Why those, is it sexy, though? Those kangaroos so, ooze sex appeal, that's why. They really do. So we're gonna add black pepper, a little bit of gray sea salt, and then turbinado sugar. So turbinado sugar, sugar in the raw. That's gonna add some lovely, nice sweetness. Nah, you got I me, mean, you gotta like hold it there and torch it. Ah! Yeah, like get close to it, you, we want that blackened skin. Fun though, right? It's really Have fun. A good time. And it smells really good. Yeah, that's how you roast peppers. There we go. Yeah, all over, completely black. Nature's marshmallow! I'm gonna take some of this balsamic vinegar. I'm just gonna get a whole lot of that. Real balsamic vinegar should be nice and syrupy like this. It shouldn't be super runny. So we got the onions kind of soft and we're getting a lot of that syrupy, sugary balsamic in there. Then all we're gonna do is continue cooking this down for about 20 minutes. Get it super, super jammy. That's nice. Yeah, the pepper might start moving. The pan might warp. Don't let that deter you. Why is the flame ever off? Flame should be always on. Just keep going. I like to take breaks. We don't take breaks in the kitchen. Well, <laughs> I'm. Shakespeare. We're like legally, like we do. There we go, there we go. Yeah. It's hard to get it in the crack. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you got two options. Shove harder or lube more. Can I grab this? I don't know, can you? Yeah, easy. So we're just gonna get that in here and we're just gonna start sloughing off all that skin. This is kind of what it smells like when the Chuck E. Cheese band like overheats. Yes. Well, I talked about my grandpa's nose and how he, he liked to drink. He would take me and my sister to Chuck E. Cheese a lot. Yeah. And uh, he would just drink a whole pitcher of beer by himself and watch the band play. And my sister and I would go, you know, get pee on our jeans because there was always pee in yep. the tubes, in the yeah. hamster tubes. Growing up is learning that adults mostly went to Chuck E. Cheese with you so they could drink. So I'm gonna cut these peppers into like nice, large, big chunks right here. So we got here is a mason jar. I'm gonna add a ton of Herbe de Provence in it. I'm like, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it at. It smells like licorice. So it's like licorice, so that's probably, there's fennel seed, uh, there is lavender, there is rosemary, there is marjoram, there's thyme, there's oregano, but lavender is the thing that we mostly associate Herbe de Provence with. So I'm gonna add a bunch of this Olio Verde. This is a nice young green olive oil. Should get some nice verdancy to go with those herbs in there. Yeah, yeah, so start just like massaging that pepper in there and try and get all the black stuff off. So we're getting a lot of olive oil in there. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of salt. The goal is just to marinate these peppers really nice and lightly to get a little bit of lightness in this three pound Wagyu beef cheeseburger. Why, like, come on, what are we doing? This is fun. And then sherry vinegar is one of my favorite ingredients to cook with. Just gonna get a little bit of that in there. We're not trying to make a pickle. We just wanna get a little bit of acid in there. And then we're just gonna start packing these in. Ooh, this is fun. Hey, Emily, cool. Wow, we made <gasps> marinated uh, green bell peppers in Herbe de Provence. That's pretty chill. That is, my hands are cold. And then I'm gonna let the onions cook down for like is another five minutes. Is this enough stuff off of it? Or do you really like want we, every single we little- We only needed the one bell pepper the whole time, is me being honest. I wanted to give you something to do. We can start making the burgers now. Oh, we can? Yeah, I can. no, I, I just, did all the stuff. I just want to play in my tiny little dirty bathtub. You can do it. I'll take the ingredients and just kind of like, you know, go over. I'll, I, we got it. Also, I'll grab the next can one. Can we go there. save that Emily, baby again? Playing. I want to save playing. the baby again. Oh, there's that baby. <laughs> Emily, we have our large beef babies in our hands and now Aww. we must put them in the basket. Okay, so I'm going to lube up this griddle a little bit. Uh, so <laughs> on three, try and flip it. Try and hit this side. I'm going to try and go this side. On three, one, two, go. There it is. And so now we're just gonna let these griddle. We're gonna press it in a little bit. All right, so now we can peel off the paper. 
Look at that, Ooh. these big old beef babies. All right, so we're gonna season up. This is that beautiful Celtic sea salt. Here, grab a pinch, season up that burger. There we go. Love it, and then some nice Telecherry black peppercorns here. I have heard a rumor that Five Guys does not salt their burgers, but that means that I don't really miss it at the Five Guys. That said, I refuse to cook an unsalted burger, so that's why we're adding salt to ours. You got more pepper on, and so I'm gonna put more pepper on. Mononza! Ah! Sorry, did I get your eye with the pepper? I felt it, but I think my, my excessive amount of mascara has blocked it. <laughs> It's not excessive, you look great. I think it's a nice- Thank pool. you. Yeah. We're gonna let this cook for about another 60 seconds just to get okay. a really hard sear on it. We don't wanna cook these like fully, but get them to like about a medium well. And then if you see this, we got Emily Moore, holy crap. It's so pretty and it's so thick, like a yoga mat for babies. We never set out to make like giant food, but like I had three pounds of Wagyu steak and I wanted to use it all. Things just kind of got out of hand. I don't think it got out of hand. Oh no, this is gonna splatter. Yeah, it's gonna splatter. <laughs> okay, there, Emily, put cheese on top of that one. I'm gonna flip this one. Oh Ow. my God, I love this. Look at how yeah. beautiful it love is. It. Here, I'm gonna go under, you go over. Now I'm gonna flip this one. Ha! Watch out for splash. If you run that way, then you won't get the splash. Great, and then you're gonna add cheese to that one. This cheese is just blinking over the whole thing. I, I really love this cheese. Nicole really crushed this. Nicole, you nailed the cheese, you crushed girl. Crushed it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to mention that All in right. New York there's a there's a bar above a Five Guys that you should go to, and I forget the name of the bar, and the people I know there are gonna kill me. I'm just gonna kind of support is nuts. this from the bottom. Get this off. All right, Emily, you ready to finally build this finally burger of the finalities? Okay. Ooh, snacky. Ooh, I'm not touching it yet. Okay, good. So we have a nice, big, beautiful, voluptuous buns Ooh. made by Trevor. If you go to Twitter and search hashtag Trevor's bun, you'll see a bunch of fantastic pictures. So we're gonna take this and we're, we gotta start stacking all of the condiments on there. So we're gonna use every single thing that Five Guys uses except fancy. So this is mayonnaise, this is Sir Kensington's fancy mayonnaise. And this is just like a fancy relish? Yeah, fancy relish. We get some fancy relish on there. Ooh, that get looks really fancy good. Fancy mustard. I used to not like relish. Yeah, that's that's enough. We gotta be judicious with our condiments. And then scatter some you pickles You keep using around. that word. Jud <laughs> I, I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> Put some cornichons on there. That's the little baby pickles, little Baby schnickles. pickles. Yeah, get some on there, and then I'm gonna start getting, yeah, yeah. Yeah, try and get some on the edges, because we, this is gonna be like a heavily architectured burger. Oh man, I like these pickles. So these are called, what kind of pickles? Cornichons. I thought they were gherkin. What's a gherkin? A gherkin's a less fancy name for a cornichon. Oh cool, so I was right. You were right. Yeah. All right, now can you get some of those mushrooms? It's hard to tell if they're onions or mushrooms at this point, because <laughs> they're just like. Yeah, dude, I don't know what's going on with that. This just this looks stuff. like, you know, a, a log that got mushy in, in the river. Yeah, but it's fancy and nice. Okay, this is good, this is good. Spread this out evenly. We need to make a nice large base for all this delicious adobo glazed pork belly right here. Kind of mash that down. We got all that stuff. So now, uh, 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 can you hold this? This is the burgers, oh, obviously. And now, let's see if I can just get under it. Yeah, yeah, brace it and just slide that right on there. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. And now we have to start getting some veggies on there. So I'm gonna take some of these green peppers. What are you doing? You do, you dancing again? Where I put this? You said no. you were never gonna dance again, Emily. You said, you told me, you looked me dead in the eye. Feet are so guilty. And you said <laughs> guilty feet. They, and they, have, they ain't got no rhythm. Ain't got no rhythm. Okay, so we got this. So now, lettuce. Just like a couple Ooh, nominal. What kind of lettuce is that? Nominal. Are you serious? That's a very stupid, that's a bad joke. That's a. So this is just beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous red leaf that we got from the Ooh, local farmers market. Look at those tomatoes! Market. And then we're gonna take some heirloom tomatoes. Can you scatter those heirloom tomatoes? Like try and try and like kind of get some around the rim here. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. I love that. Beautiful. It's slippy. That's okay. That's okay. Now we got a condiment up the top button. So we got uh, barbecue sauce. This is like some bougie barbecue Ooh. sauce that we got. They made a joke about like Kate Middleton on the box. That's how you know it's bougie. Yeah, that's enough, that's enough. All right, and then get a uh, sun-dried tomato ketchup right there. That's fancy, because they've dried tomatoes in the sun. What's Ooh. fancier than the sun? Nothing, it's a star. All right, and then get some Peter Luger steak sauce. This is coming from my own kitchen. I cooked my girlfriend a lovely meal using Peter Luger steak sauce because it was her favorite restaurant growing up because I'm endearing. All right, and then truff. This is white truff. Never truff had the white truff. Sauce. How Ooh. much? And then, that's good, enough? that's good, that's good. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna kind of mash this around. And then get some of those pickled Fresno chilies. They do jalapenos at Five Guys. No, we're fancy. We're using Fresno chilies are from Fresno, the fanciest town in America. It's a joke from- I'm uh, sorry. About Fresno. Oh God, it's dripping on me. I got a cut on my finger. Oh, hurts. ew, ew, that means the cuts in our food. All right, we're good now. It's just like a little one. Gonna a one, a two, how do you do? And just give it a light little smush. And press. Emily, you're ready to eat this dang thing. Yeah, There's yeah. There's certainly been a lot of buildup. But first, we gotta look at how it compares to the original Five Guys Burger. Um, wow, we act, I, I'd like to think it was an accident at how big we made this hamburger. That is the most terrifying snowman I've ever seen. <laughs> or it's the most beautiful snowman. Well, I'm gonna cut this in half. We need to taste this to just remember what it tastes like. Oh, so claw, God. Emily, claw the hamburger. Okay, its structural integrity is, yeah. 
All right, do the hamburger. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if this one's a little bit different. Oh man. How are we gonna eat this? How are you, grab a half. God dang it. We did it again. I and mean, we made a burger too big to physically eat again. Oops. But, I mean, look at all those layers. It looks like a muffaletta. Like, you get all those layers, you get like that balsamic onion jam that's just bleeding, all those condiments. You ready to do this thing? You're just... Dink. Gosh. Whoa. Flavor bomb. Oh man. For how much crap we loaded on this burger, you get a couple very defined flavors. I'm tasting the herbs de Provence of all things. I'm getting the lavender on the back of the palate. And then I'm getting a lot of that soy and vinegar. I take out some of this freaking pork belly, which is the best part of this whole burger. I have stuff in my nose. Let's be real. The top layer is fluff. Get the get the get the lettuce off there. Okay. Get the tomato off there. But wait, I'm Josh. Crush this. Hey Josh. Oh. How much is this monstrosity? Mm. $379.81. We use <laughs> We learned that with proper cooking technique and good friendship, Aww. you two can make the best. Chew. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm trying to talk to him. Oh. You two can live the life that you want to be in the world. Yeah. I'm not the fanciest fast food of all. Thank you for joining us for Sunday School with Josh. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes out every week. We got a new episode of our podcast every Wednesday, wherever you get podcasts. That's pretty cool. Look at that drip. Hit us up on Instagram. We can grab lewd pictures of Emily dripping burger juice at <laughs> Mythical Kitchen. We'll see you all next time. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron. Available now at mythical.com.